Season 2 of Take My Wife will have spent a great deal of time in limbo before premiering on Stars On Demand on May 1st. After CISO, the online network that aired the comedy's first season, closed its doors, the fate of Take My Wife and other series were left up in the air. With the series now being a part of the Stars library, the top question on the minds of fans has gone from, will I ever get to see season 2, to, will there be a season 3 of Take My Wife? It was announced in August of 2017 that CISO, NBC Universal's all-comedy streaming platform, would be shutting down, for The Verge. In the wake of this announcement, the future of the many original programs that were commissioned by the network looked uncertain. While some shows, including the travel program Hit in America with Jonah Ray and the exuberant advice show My Brother, My Brother, and Me found new homes on streaming site VRV, Take My Wife and many other CISO programs were without a home. However, the dreams of all those who fell in love with Take My Wife Season 1 came true when it was announced by Deadline that stars had acquired a number of CISO properties, including the UCB show, Night Train with Wyatt Senok, and the Pistol Shrimps, and would be streaming them on Stars On Demand and the Stars app. While it's already a wonder that Take My Wife Season 2 is finally being made available for streaming, the truly exciting prospect of the star's acquisition of the show is the premium network is putting investment into a show that puts a strong focus on inclusivity. In Take My Wife, real-life couple and stand-up comedians Cameron Esposito and Rhea Butcher play fictionalized versions of themselves as they balance their marriage with various professional comedy gigs, from working open mic nights to guest hosting podcasts. While Take My Wife is far from the first show to be set in the stand-up realm, it made a big impact by using the lives of the show's creators to give platforms to voices not usually heard on television. In a tweet from co-creator and star Cameron Esposito following the announcement that CISO was shutting down, Esposito pointed out that both seasons of Take My Wife featured all-female writers' rooms, and that the writing room for the second season was 43% comprised of women of color. Her statement continue, in, season 2, 22 of our 47 roles were played by out LGBTQ actors. We cannot think of a single season of TV that has employed more out queer actors, Take My Wife did not just move the needle by being about a relationship that's still not commonly the center of the action of TV, but also marked the push forward for behind the scenes inclusivity as well. While many comedy nerds were sorely disappointed to learn that CISO was not going to continue into 2018, the biggest blow was that it seemed as though there was one less home for shows like Take My Wife, which makes stars purchasing the series all the more exciting. Variety reports that C. Brett Maritoli, head of program acquisitions for Stars, said, We are excited to address the uncertain fate of several CISO series, including the beloved Take My Wife series, by providing a new home for these programs and their fans at Stars. It's worth noting that Take My Wife is the series that a star's executive choose to draw attention to. So while there has been no announcement yet regarding the series' future, the network's executive's excitement about making Take My Wife part of the star's slate hints that season the second of may not be the end of one of television's hidden gems.